Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is a quick video on the impact of a change in the tire size, not a change in the tire, but a change in the tire size on the geometry of the bike. All right. So here's my situation. All right. So I have Dunlop Entex slicks mounted on my Aprilia. These are the front tires and uh, the size is 120. 70 R17 okay so the 120 is the width of the tire 120 millimeters they're all in millimeters the 70 is the aspect ratio it's an indirect measure of the height of the tire and it's telling you that the height is 70% of the width of the tire 70% of 120 and if you do the math, 70% of 120 is 84 millimeters. So it's telling you that the height is 84 millimeters. And the R is basically a radial tire as opposed to bias ply. And the 17 here is telling you that this tire is to be mounted on a 17 inch wheel. All right, so the main thing is the 120, that's the width in millimeters and 70 is a percentage 70 percent of 120 or 84 millimeters is the is the height of this tire all right these tires are pretty much done and so i need to remove them and toss them into the nearby river ah just kidding i take them over to the tire shop and recycle them will be that as it may these tires are done and uh i don't want to change to new tires yet i've got this um uh, Pirelli slicks lying around the SC3s. I like them a lot. So I want to go ahead and change the Dunlops um, and put on the Pirellis and I'm curious as to what would happen to the geometry of the bike. Well, the tire size here is 125.70 R17. So the R17 is good. It tells me that um, this is the right tire size for my wheel. The 125 tells me that the width is 125 millimeters compared to the 120. That in and of itself is not too bad. It gives me two and a half millimeters on each side to play with. So maybe that's a good thing. Um, the 70, remember, is a percentage. So 70% of 125 is 87.5 millimeters. So basically, if I change this Dunlop and put on the Pirellis, then I am gaining 3.5 millimeters right height. And so if I were to be absolutely precise, I would drop the height of the, the front height of the motorcycle by 3.5 millimeters. Now, for me personally, 3.5 millimeters, 0.35 centimeters, that's like 0.147 inches. I'm just not gonna feel the difference. So I'm not gonna do any anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and change it, ride it. And once the second tire is done, I'll go ahead and go back to the Dunlops. But um, in case you've been wondering about the impact of a change in the tire size on the ride height, on the geometry of the bike, hopefully this video was helpful. And by the way, you could apply the same principle to the rear tire. So if you have a rear tire, which is let's say 260, what it means is that it's a, the width of the tire is 200 millimeters. The height is 60% of the 200, 120 millimeters. So if you were to change it to a 265, then the right height changes and you know how to calculate that. All right, hope this helped. See you next time.